Hello YouTube, welcome on back. We are dominating things and stuff. Yeah, nope. Nobody actually wants to buy these. Oh, oh, for a, for a penny. In for a penny, in for a cotton or something. Nationalism is next. Um, Four turns on our upgrades. Is that how long we want to take? I know we're in for policy switches here. Uh, including this. That's why we're getting six. I only need two more. I think we can drop this. Drop this. Maybe keep this going for now. And then we do... Both the policies again. Upgrade and then declare. Switch into oligarchic legacy. For the at least the first bit of it. I would like our um, bombards up a little bit closer here. So we'll work on that. All right, almost there. Two envoys. Do we do anything with them? We have Kabul. We're working on that. We already clicked it this turn. How many more charges? Four. I guess that's just a farm. Victorious warrior. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. Hi, King. Not really going to be using this siege tower a lot. I don't know that he's got a lot better than ancient walls, but we've got muskets and things. Not to mention uh, bombards. Let's get our Carolian over there. I'd like to rebuy the twins and steal more Carolians, mostly because it's fun. Build a uh, decent holy site, if only for Eriscore, if I wanted to. All right, how we looking? You there, you there. Just need one more. Lighthouse seems good. All right, this is the trade route we we need. <laughs> Awkward, awkward land with no no road there. Oh, we've got another one, too. Um, Well, I'm going to have to send this one in reverse because we're about to declare war. So let's just go after yields. We get surprise war benefits if Rome asks if you're declaring war. That's a great question, and we should for science it. My thought is yes, but I'm not cert I I'm not sure. I think it depends on what it says on the button, because uh, it should say on the button "declare surprise war." And as long as that's true, I think we're okay. But I I should know the answer to that, and I don't. But what if your troops are just passing by? Then then you don't get bonuses. Yeah, our uh, our Petra City is pretty glorious. <laughs> Usually it says declare war. I thought it said oh maybe I'm wrong then. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet Petra. We're we're just now working on fixing it up. But better late than never. Alright, I, I would like a spy. 
Spy seems good. University seems good. Disgustingly good, yeah. <laughs> I know. It's it's weird. I could change it, I guess. We haven't announced next month's book club. Uh, next book club is next Saturday. Uh, and we'll have Amy and or Hobbit Foot along with it, um, finishing up the one. Yeah, we've 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 had a weird a weird scheduling. I don't know, month or two with it, but uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out then, because I'm pretty sure Hobbit Foot has a uh, has a book for us too, or at least we owe him one from uh, from incentives from the extra live stream. So. Petra's proving why city state tile improvements can be good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm hoping to have both of them uh, if they're if they are w ready or willing and able. Uh, okay. So you go here. You can go here. You're coming up. You go there. And then all of our units are upgraded. So two turns, we switch out. Chocolate preserves just for the lulls. Uh, it only hits like one tile, right? All right, we do that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know either. I, I can think of at least one other soccer man. But that's all I know. Thanks, off in one corner. Me too. Me too, friend. Feels good. Life feels good. I feel buoyant. I feel. I feel uplifted. Um, Like I don't know, I I, I don't want to I don't I don't know. I'm just feeling good, and I'm gonna ride that, and keep that going. Go there, make a lumber mill. All right, what you got for me, Rome? Whole lot of nothing. Human nature. And we're at nationalism now. So that's good. Oh, that's nice. I really would like a switch at some point. <laughs> we could definitely do a current version of that, Hero. Uh, remind me, because we've done that before and we came up with one, but it, it's been many years. Uh, and, and I think we should re revisit that idea, because it's fun. I think this is fine now. I would like this. It's good, but I want movement. I want combat strength. I know that I took basically my whole turn before switching this, which is a slight mistake, but I don't think we'll get punished by it. And then we're heading up to mobilization now. So that works. All tiles give at least a 2 2. Yeah. <laughs> A doo doo. That's my recipe for ton ti ton tundra tiles with a non tundra sieve. Tundra tiles are fine. Honestly, tundra tiles are fine. Like, yes, they're worse than other tiles. Yes, like, you should prioritize sieves that aren't in the t or cities that aren't in the tundra. 
but honestly like they're not that bad and so as long as you're improving them the biggest issue with tundra and and, and obviously this is the, the the premise for canada is that um is that f growth is hard farming is hard it is is very difficult to do that but but mines and lumber mills are are close to fine uh in most cases so as long as you have some growth available to you, you really shouldn't have to worry about it all that much. Even though it's not ideal. Does anyone have any advice they could share on helping a friend accept and move on from a breakup? It's been a month and your friend's still very depressed uh, and desperate to get his XGF back. The only remedy that I've found that works uh, is time. And it really sucks when you're the one sort of like watching and, and having to be like, oh, I just want you to pull yourself out of this. Uh, but but it's it's really time. Um, and, 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 and distraction helps a bit, but like you don't want to completely distract from it, right? You want you want to be able to to conquer it head on, but time, um, yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because it's there are times when you just really you're like no, <laughs> you're 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 gonna be fine and. But if you're if you're mired in it and it, it it's it, it can become so like it's the thing you can obsess about it it's the thing that you just think about more than anything and I've been there I've been there and and finding the next thing right like like sometimes it feels so hopeless. But then the second you have like a little uh, like an interest somewhere else or someone else interested in you, it can make a huge difference in terms of like your perspective of like, oh, I'm going to be okay. But time and age, honestly, like the 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 the, the thing about breakups is like the first one, like the first real one, stings so bad because it's it's one of one, right? Like it's one of of your very limited experiences when you're younger and things. Uh, so, so breakups at like 18 to 25 are so much harder than at, in your 30s, in my opinion. Um, and, and again, there's, there's no solution for it other than time. I remember that movie, Doctor. <laughs> Very focused on getting her back. Feels like, you know what? Here, here's the thing. Your early 20s, so first serious relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, okay. This this can start as like a weird premise, but I think it works because it's it 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 works in the weird way, but then it also works in like a, a practical way. This this is this is the wrong phrase for it, but there's a phrase that says "clean living is the best revenge," right? And not that you want revenge. Not, revenge is the wrong word, but the idea being that become your best person like if you if, if if you lost somebody because you think you were you weren't your best version of yourself and blah 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 if you work towards becoming that version even if you're doing it with like a a, a false premise of like oh if i become this person maybe i'll get her back uh that probably won't happen right but if you if if that's enough to get the person to work on themselves and become uh their best version of themselves or become the person that they think they should have been with this person or whatever whatever convoluted uh uh logic you want to use as long as you're taking those steps and becoming that person you, you're going to get to the other side of it and go oh i'm a, I, i'm in a good spot and i'm i feel better for it um so it's it's even if it's the wrong intention or, or the wrong motivation, I feel like I feel like that sort of thinking can help you through. Does that make sense? I I, I may have explained that poorly, but I I think there is at least for me over the years there's some wisdom in that. I'm going to do this for health, even though it, they already had a, a promotion. 
your best version won't want to go back to that person. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You're very welcome, Soccer Man. Yeah. Um, I, I, I definitely, I definitely like, I definitely had like a major significant breakup that I went through that, that where that logic helped me a lot. I, I, I tried to work really hard to become the person I thought she wanted me to be. And then once I was on the other side of it, I was like, oh, now I'm a better person and I'm through the breakup. I'm okay now. Uh, and, and it's, it's pretty rare that you get back together ever. Right. But. Nice, Zylus. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for asking the question and bringing up the conversation. I love conversations like this. They're, they are good and healthy to have. And and just having company, having people around makes a big difference, right? Like... Part of the part of the problem is, is of breakups is just wallowing in it, um, and 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 becoming too obsessive over it because you have nothing else going on. Difference between a channel and a community, am I right? I love that. I really love that. <laughs> nice, nice dorks. I'm gonna take this envoy. It's not the best trade route, but I want the Envoy. Does GF seem like his identity? That's the other thing too, right? Like, And that's a very... Uh, not, not to be punitive, but, but it's sort of an immature take on things. And it can be, right? Like, we can lose ourselves in our relationships, especially when we're young. Especially when you haven't had that many relationships. And so, so everything feels that much more real and you pour yourself into it, right? Like you, you, you become defined by your relationship, but, but the honest truth of it is that no relationship is actually going to work unless you are a complete person first, right? Like if you, if you're in there and you're, and your significant other is your identity, you are, you are putting extra pressure on them. You are putting them up on a pedestal. To, to the point where like it becomes unsustainable and the actual solution is to become comfortable confident and 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 just poised in your own thoughts and your own beliefs like like when you when you disagree in a relationship and it's early on it can be scary because you don't have a, you don't have a viewpoint um but but once you once you have that confidence to be your own person that's when you can start having like honest good like communicative relationships I, i'm always a big fan of the phrase like there's no good or bad in relationships there is only honest and dishonest uh and it's very very difficult to be honest uh when, when you don't have perspective or or things are too just too real for you and so that's the other part of it right like that that's what i was kind of saying with my other advice is like as long as you you continue to work on becoming your best version of yourself you're going to wind up in a spot where you've you've accomplished those goals and also you probably don't want your SO back because like you're a different person now and, and you're and you're better off for it. That that can be a hard part too. Yeah, losing losing a family like if you've if 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 you're in a relationship where their family's really cool, that that can that can make it harder. But I think the same advice still reigns true. Like you've got to work on yourself uh, and become the best version of yourself. I feel like that now. I am in my thirties, married with a kid. If I did have a, a breakup, it would destroy you. Not as close with all your friends and less social outlets to recover. I can appreciate that. I don't. I don't have that perspective as I as I. I don't have that sort of committed uh, long term relationship like a marriage. Um, but I, I think you'd find a way to pull through it. Like, there's, the, um, Malcolm Gladwell has a variant on this, uh, and I'm going to curse. So forgive me and 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 let your um let your kids out of the room real quick but to a to a pig in shit the world is shit right and so if if you only see your immediate surroundings you become defined by them uh and and so i think even even though it might seem like oh i wouldn't have a way out of that 
it's because you're encompassed in it. Uh, and I think if, if it were to end, I think you'd be better off than you think. Are these topics men really talk about with each other? I'm a gay woman and my experience with straight men has been they don't really discuss these issues. I am not your typical straight man. <laughs> I, 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 I'm bored by by stereotypical male conversation. I, I only ever want to have real conversation with uh, with with real people. That's that's the type of people I want to surround myself with. And that's kind of what this community has been built on. Um, is 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 my philosophies and, and perspectives, I think, to some degree. Um, so I, I prefer these conversations. I'd much rather be real with people uh, at the at the risk of, of whatever it is I'm risking. Um, but that's that's just who I am. I don't know. <laughs> no more no more football and chicken wings on the channel. <laughs> I mean, I'm, f I'm fine with that too, right? All things in moderation are fine. But I'd rather be real. I'd, r I'd rather, I'd so much rather be real than, than superficial, right? Like a lot of, a lot of my younger relationships were indeed superficial. And it was like, yeah, those were based on insecurity. And those were based on what you thought, you're, what you thought men and women were supposed to be or, or guy relationships were supposed to be and all that stuff. But it's all it's it's all nonsense. It's, it's it's none of it's real until until you start to actually talk about your feelings and things. So I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm weird and I have a weird community, but it's the best community on the Internet. In my opinion. Cute. But so I don't know if it's what what most straight men talk about, but it's certainly what I talk about. We also, we often discuss emotions while declaring war. We're complex, yeah, indeed. Hey, Rio. Hey, Rio, how you been? Good to see you. How's this cleaning up? You know what? We're, we've, we've, I'm probably going to leave this Roman city just because I don't really care about it. Uh, and then we're, we're pretty close to just finishing up Rome. And then I think we, do we have a better path into, into Sweden? We do, right? Because here's a road. I think there's a city here. And so we can start here, take out the encampment, and then and then we have free reign to take the rest of it. This was the real the real tough st strategic point. Like we could have certainly surrounded this with, with bombards, but with the double, like this is a crazy defensive little uh, uh, choke point, right? Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I'm glad we don't have to go in through this direction. Funneling through the Matterhorn. Yeah, true too. I kind of forgot Matterhorn was here. But yeah, you're absolutely right. We're going to have Matterhorn bonuses. I like it. I like that a lot. But I was saying yesterday that like the the adjectives that I strive to be, like the adjective that I strive to be more than anything else is just real and genuine. And thus conversations that are hopefully real and genuine. Uh, save the promotion, I guess. We do have two envoys. Seems like we can just hold them. Oh, and we picked up a uh, we picked up Forbidden City. That's quite nice for us. Um, I'll keep, I'll leave the combat strength in for now. It just makes things go a little bit quicker. I can probably pull out Public Works now. I might be building a builder or two, but it doesn't matter. Let's bring in some gold and faith. Maybe trade confederation. Like that. I'm 
This is not worked by anybody, so who cares? So we're crushing it now in terms of economy. We have taken the science lead and we've long since taken the culture lead. Uh, so Christina, while she is in the modern era, could be very interesting war actually because we're not really going to have modern era tech going against her. Uh, but it's, it's quite possible that we'll be fine. Hopefully. Uh, I want to bring Victor up too. What does Rome have? Hi Paisley. Hi friend. How are you? Yeah, we've got a fully upgraded encampment here. Or is this not? Oh, it's here. No, okay. Hello, Novi. How are you? And I'm also sort of, I, I'm also sort of uh, all about that mental health. <laughs> Uh, right? Like, like that is, that is a part of, of me as well. And I, I want to promote positive mental health, especially in men. Like that, that's, that's part of my, my willingness to talk about things is I feel like stifling emotions and, and then the conversation specifically like really leads to dark places. Isolation is not the way to get through things. Right. And so like being a man, blah, 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 like that's, that's just not a healthy Never recipe. So I'm always happy to help facilitate conversations. Let's go ahead and grab all of our governors and some loyalty here. That works. <laughs> I was up to 3 a.m. playing Birio Kart. <laughs> Birio Kart. Alcohol is not good for sleeping. I, 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 I. One of the things I can say for sure is you do not sleep well. As much as, as much as you might think you do, you do not. <laughs> I do have a governor. Uh, yeah, I was going to say I have a general somewhere. Let's bring that up. Drinking and driving is not recommended. Lol. Pwned. Lol. Birio Kart is a great name for it, by the way. Mine's the only Twitch stream I love to catch solely based on mental health promotion and discussion. That makes me happy. Part of my brand, I guess. I don't know. It's, it, it feels crass to call it like, oh, it's part of my brand, but it is what it is. Al alcohol might help you fall asleep, but it's terrible sleep. Yeah, can, can confirm. Can confirm that's my experience as well. We need somebody here. Uh, I don't need Liang or even Victor. Yeah, you know what? Victor can go here and maybe that's where we reinforce from. I'm not feeling a super need to reinforce quite yet, but we will soon. Eating a whole large pizza for that too, yeah. I've been really focused on just health in general lately. And just like input-output, you know? Things you put in your body. Something comes out of it and it could be good or bad. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. that. Seems good. Not to say you don't have as much fun as you want, but in terms of sleep health. Take that. Bring you up. Do we have? <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, does all, wait, do all governors and going tall on deity work or still, do you still need eight to 12 cities by, by turn 100? Um, <laughs> Kira, uh, you, you want to go as wide as possible still. Uh, th th there aren't, there Hurrah are for mental health. There are more ways, uh, to keep up with things by going tall. But in general, this game is still designed around going wide and I would not, I would not suggest the faint of heart deviate from that. 
Zylus, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back for, with that Prime. And yes, indeed, yay mental health. I am so happy that people feel comfortable enough to come here and ask questions or have conversations. Oh. Query. There we go. Fixed. Does the extra movement from the war count for the Carolean bo bonus? Yep. Yeah. Why not, right? It, it does with logistics. It does with generals. Like, everything like that should. Pretty sweet, right? How did I get the Swedish unit? From the twins. Actually, can we revive them now? I forget where I got them. Is it here? Here we are. Get back in here, twins. You know what? Hercules wants to come along too. Come, Hercules. We have things to do. Caroline's a very slept on unit. It's one of my most highly rated. So if people are sleeping on it, it's not yours truly. I, I have, I have, since, since it became a thing, I was like, this is good. We tried it out right away and it was solid. One of the things that's the, it doesn't require st strategics and it's incredibly powerful here. For, for those of you who don't know. Uh, Swedish unique re Renaissance era unit replaces the pike and shot. Faster than it, three combat strength per unused unit. So it's 55 melee strength base, and then can have another nine from movement. You can pair that with logistics for more with for more combat strength and generals. So it's very easy to get like five movement on this and make it like a, a 70 strength unit. So compared to the typical pike and shot, which is where? Why am I missing it? Trebuchet. Pike and shot here. So typically typically 55, but we can get up to 70 with it. Uh, I also think two, it's 250 and four. It's 250 and three, so it's cheaper to maintain. So it's, it's just one of those incredibly consistent, like you don't need strategics for it, and it's really strong. I'm a big fan of it. Herc smash twins combo. Yeah, let's do it. Does it upgrade from anything? I, I think so. Upgrades from pikemen, yeah. You can go pike into Carolean and it can go into AT crew. So yeah, it's like perfectly on the uh, upgrade path. Very, very strong. Like that? Was that strong? We have 81 strength on our Carolean. And 18 of it is from our unique ability. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. And that didn't even start in our territory, right? Which could have been for one more because logistics. Look at this Petra. This is this is one of the most glorious Petras. Just because we have so many tiles, tile improvements like everywhere. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Look at it. Uh, what what has eighty combat strength normally? 
Well, this is 90. No, AT crews are 75. AT crews are 75. And we had 81 on ours. And and by the way, it's a unit from the Renaissance, right? <laughs> so it's a Renaissance era AT unit. Is it good, you guys? Is it good? I think it's good. All right. Well, we can't surprise war her. I can surprise war Poland. Oh, hello. Oh, my gosh. Now, the downside <laughs> is when they come after us. Let's uh let's grab a unit. I only understand French. But there's a good chance we can uh maybe steal this. Do we actually wind up stealing the whole core? I've never done that. Twins, man, super powerful. Does it revert to a single unit? That that makes sense. Hopefully we'll find out. I feel like Purge is still going to be at the top of this list after this round of one more marathon. They're still a really solid Ziv. I, I might be a little I might be a little too into them. I'm not sure. But I mean this game has felt powerful. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dr. Bob Ganoush. That makes sense. I could pillage more. No such thing as two into Persians. I could appreciate that. Do I want to make any changes? I don't think so. We're pretty happy. Now we pick up Alpine on every unit we have. Alpine training. Pretty good. <laughs> Paisley. <laughs> Once you go Persian, you don't want another version. amazing my cam location not covering the map is great thank you I usually have it a little bit more over like this it's probably a little bit better I don't mind if I cover like a tiny bit of the map is that still okay I've been juggling it around lately because we've been doing many streams or many different games on stream prefer center middle really doesn't it get in the way when we do like tech tree stuff I guess not or cities or something I, f I feel like I strategically picked that spot I don't know why Always money in a banana stand. hey but you go away hey thank you hey there been keeping up on YouTube but wanted to drop in to give you a little value for value. That is incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching the YouTube. We should be back with a vengeance. I am through my difficult part of the year. This was a weird week. We've had a couple weird things, but I'm feeling awesome. I feel so good. My, my mental health is good. My outlook is good. I'm working on, on getting some help with um, dietary things and some other stuff that's been troubling me. But other than that, I feel awesome. And thanks for watching on the YouTube. 
It feels awesome to be back. This this feels I, th there's like a wide openness and a, and a I don't know a uh, what's a good word for it. Astronomy compels this. I'm not rarely at a loss for words, but I can't think of what what the word might be. Oh, okay, it's all good, pwned. What's up, Banana Man? Random question. Does Simultaneum boost choral music the same way Scripture boosts work ethic? Nope, it does not. It does not, unfortunately. Uh, and it's the way that it's the way that the policy is worded. So, extra faith from buildings in holy sites. Uh, Fifty percent, if blah 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 blah. And if we look at choral music, shrines and temples provide culture equal to their intrinsic faith output. Jeez, twenty months feels like a lifetime. Thanks for all your content and for you being you. Thank you, Silverhog. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you for the tier two. Welcome back for twenty months, my friend. Very good to have you here. Thanks for the support, Vontigo and Silverhawk. And everybody else that's here, thank you for watching. Many ways to support the stream, not all of them financial. I appreciate your eyeballs as much as anything else. But the fact that it says intrinsic here is the giveaway. I'm running out of stuff I really care about building. Maybe another spy wouldn't be too bad. All right. Did I put in the pillage policy? I may not have. Don Giovanni with the 29 months as well. Thank you, Don Giovanni. I also appreciate my eyeballs, Kappa. <laughs> Thank you very much, friend. I appreciate all of those months of support. Incredibly kind of you. Good to have you back. How disgusting is it to get Alpine training on a Carolean? And on Bombards, actually. It's like even better. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's a uh, city there. The word I was looking for is hopeful. That works. Thank you, Master Valtras. It does work. I don't think anyone's ever told me they appreciate my eyeballs before. <laughs> I'm also surprised because my most valued that my most valued contribution is my beloved trolling. It is. It is. Upgrade the RAM. Do we even need to? Oh, it is it. It is medieval walls, so yeah, we might as well. Make that a siege tower. Um, speaking of eyeballs, does anyone watch Raised by Wolves? I've started watching Raised by Wolves. Uh, and it is not at all what I expected it to be, but I'm very much enjoying it. I don't want to give away spoilers, but... Do I have any uh, any anybody out there that's watching that? on HBO. Am I recommending it? I'm only a couple episodes in. So I will hold off on my recommendation until I uh, have a little more experience with it. But so far, I'm, I'm very interested. You like it, Naroon? It's pretty cool so far. Uh, she's up here. <laughs> I know we look like Poland and Poland looks like Georgia. And then Rome looks like us from our last game with, uh, who did we play last? Or our Clio game. Rome is not an issue. I think we're pretty much done with them, actually. I, I, I took them in seven turns, so. That works. Good luck in your meeting, Ordos. 
Thanks for lurking. What's if am I most excited to play in the marathon? Honestly, I have an answer to that. Chat, do you have any guesses? What Civ am I most excited to play during the marathon? Nobody has it yet. Nobody has it yet. Yeah, I should. I should, huh? Blue Wings? Wow, nobody. Nobody. Nobody has it. I'm astonished. I'm gonna bring this over for 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 YouTube. Here's our here's our chat. Nobody has it yet. Nobody. Lots of options, and not one correct guess. I'll give you a hint. It's a pretty big hint. You ready for your hint? They are in this game. <laughs> Fight white and nerdy. Inca, I can't wait to play Pachacuti. The, the, the terrace farm became everything I ever wanted it to be. And I'm so excited to try it out and, and, and do a proper playthrough with it. Pachacuti, you guys. I love tile improvements, and he's got an amazing one. It's like someone was listening. I know, right? But yeah, I, I think he's got maybe the best tile improvement in the game now. Thank like. The, the difference between a 0.5 and a 1 is it really does that. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm very, very excited to play Pachacuti. Thought it was Sweden because of the pike and shot. I can appreciate that, but no. Nope, I'm super excited to play Inca. I just think that they have a really unique play style, and I just love that tile improvement now. It went from being something that I was, like, kind of meh about to being something I'm like, yes, let's do this. It's early, it's powerful. It does things and, believe it or not, stuff, which is great. Twelve turns on this. Will I do Inca Preserves? We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, Terrace Farm is so good, I might not always make Mountain Preserves, and that's saying a lot. Yeah, for sure. And it's a complex... Uh, uh, it's a complex Civ 2, right? Because you do have a lot of relevant choices to make. <laughs> All of this for two gold per turn. How about no? Do, in, our, in my coupe game, I should make every AI also coupe. I mean, we could do some meme games for sure. Hello, Carolians. We'll have her hold the line. I do need 20 gold. You don't even have 20 gold. Am I too late to guess? Because I'm going to go Inca. 
Never too late. You nailed it. First guess. First guess, buddy. I'd rage quit after turn five if everyone was coupe. <laughs> Now, I'm a little scared for this line infantry. This is a lot of damage coming back to us, but Hercules is expendable. I'm gonna shoot that. Oh, we can one-shot this Carolean. What up? See ya. I don't want to move here, though, because they can attack us through this. It doesn't seem like a great idea. Let's do that. And that. Oh, and we're long on the video. Uh, probably one or two more to go still. Thank you so much for watching, YouTubers. I appreciate it. We have conquered Rome, and we are on our way to Stockholm. Um, seems good. Seems good. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic, as well as like and subscribe on YouTube. I don't say that enough. It, it probably feels like I don't care enough about my YouTube, and maybe I don't, but we'll, we'll fix that this year, too. Thanks for watching, everybody.